David Wood is a Christian apologist who is obsessed with making videos against Islam. He tried to explain the Trinity but fails miserably like any other Christian. Let's watch the clips and come back. Any Christian who spends more than five seconds talking to Muslims online will be asked, how can you believe that one plus one plus one equals one? Muslims are so incredibly proud of this objection that they post it over and over and over again. It's a logical and reasonable objection, since you believe in three distinct persons that are co-equal and co-eternal, yet they are still one being somehow. When you say that the Son is God and that the Father is also God, the logical question that follows, how many gods are there? We both agree there is only one God, but the Trinity clearly contradicts this concept. When Muslims post this objection, Christians often respond with some basic mathematics. They point out that one times one times one equals one. One times one times one equal one doesn't prove the Trinity. In fact, it's a heresy. Christians believe that the Son is not the Father and that the Father is not the Holy Spirit. So the equation should be one Son times one Father times one Spirit. The only way you can get one is if the Son equals one and the Father equals one and the Holy Spirit equals one, which of course doesn't make any sense. And by accepting this nonsensical equation, mathematically you can replace the Son and the Father and the Holy Spirit by one, and you will have one Son times one Father times one Spirit equals one times one times one equals one. This is simple basic arithmetic. I hope Christians learn something from this and stop embarrassing themselves by using wrong equations to prove a mystery. If the Muslim demands that we use addition when we're talking about God, Christians will point out that the God of the Bible, unlike the God of the Quran, is infinite. So it would be more accurate to say infinity plus infinity plus infinity equals infinity. Again, this addition doesn't make any logical sense. Imagine you have an infinite number of apples and you try to add another apple. How can you do that when you already have an infinite number of apples? It doesn't make any sense because infinity doesn't exist in the real world. It's an abstract concept that is used in mathematics. Trinitarian Christians have no knowledge and they are only following assumptions. I'd like to help our Muslim friends with their math skills by stressing something even more basic. When we learn math in school, we learn to use numbers in an abstract manner. Two plus two equals four. Two plus two what? Well, it doesn't matter. We're using the numbers by themselves without referring to specific objects. But if you're adding up things in the real world, you need to include units. And the units need to be the same on both sides of the equals sign. If you're adding up blocks, then two blocks plus two blocks equal four blocks. Remember, he's trying to explain the Trinity to us. Please focus and don't get distracted by his waffling. Maybe he's going to quote a verse from the Bible to prove the Trinity. No. If you take a thousand blocks and use them to build one house, you wouldn't say that one plus one plus one all the way up to a thousand equals one, even though the thousand blocks do make one house. If the units you're adding are blocks, you can't change the units to house in the answer and then take out all the units and pretend that a thousand equals one. For the record, all these mathematical equations are heresies and can't be used to prove the Trinity, which is what we call the heresy of partialism, meaning that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit together are part of the one God, and they only become fully God when they come together. I always find myself explaining to Christians that the Trinity isn't just multiple things or persons that make up the one God, but the three persons must also be co-equal and co-eternal, which is 100% not biblical. 140 14 surahs, one Quran. So, one plus one plus one plus one, all the way up to 114 ones, equals one, according to Islam. And this is why David Wood is only interested in making videos about Islam and doesn't teach his own religion. Is he trying to make a point for the Trinity by claiming the Quran has 14 chapters that make up the one Quran? So we Muslims believe in 14 in one, therefore Christians believing in 3 in one is acceptable. Is this the level of intellect of this pseudo philosopher? This is really embarrassing. The Trinity isn't just 3 in one, it's 3 co-equal and co-eternal distinct persons in one. As I said in my previous video about Sam Shamon 
on also failing to explain the Trinity. Whenever Christians try to explain the Trinity, they fail into heresy. Like David would now, he's trying to make a point for the heresy of partialism. Things get more interesting when we think about the nature of those surahs. What is a surah of the Quran? What is surah 2, for instance? What is its nature? You Muslims will say that its nature is the Quran, or that it's the speech of Allah. So, different surahs of the Quran share the same nature, don't they? They all share the same nature as the eternal speech of Allah, don't they? Okay, let's think about this. Is Surah 1 identical to Surah 2? Is Surah 2 identical to Surah 3? Surah 1 is distinct from Surah 2, isn't it? Surah 2 is distinct from Surah 3, isn't it? And yet, their nature, what they are, is the same, because they're all the Quran, or the speech of Allah. I don't understand why David would make this video embarrassing himself. Surah 1 is the revelation, the speech of Allah, and part of the Quran. Focus on the word, parts. Surah 2 is also a revelation, the speech of Allah, and also part of the Quran. 114 surahs of the Quran make up the one Quran. David is trying to deceive and equating the Quran with the speech of Allah. Yes, the Quran is from the speech of Allah, but the speech of Allah isn't only the Quran. His logic only works if he believes that Jesus is part of God, but he doesn't believe that. Or maybe he does and he's a heretic, who knows? So, Surah 1 is the Quran. Surah 2 is the Quran. Surah 3 is the Quran. But Surah 1 is not Surah 2, Surah 2 is not Surah 3, Surah 3 is not Surah 1. I'm sorry, but uh, is this guy stupid? Is he really making the argument that one chapter of the Quran is the whole Quran? Allah said in the Quran, take what is given freely, enjoy what is good, and turn away from the ignorant. David Wood is proving himself to be an ignorant person. Let's continue watching him with his straw man. You Christians who are watching may recognize this as an illustration of the concept of the Trinity. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, but the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Our Muslim friends tell us that this is impossible, and yet we can use the same illustration for the Quran. The only difference is that if we wanted to be accurate, we'd need a figure with 114 sides, and there's no way I'm drawing that. Way too complicated. Now, if each of the 114 surahs is the Quran, are there 114 Qurans? So he really believes that one chapter of the Quran is the entire Quran. I don't know what to say to respond. No, one chapter of the Quran is just one chapter. And there are 114 chapters of the Quran. And each chapter of the Quran is part of the Quran, not the entire Quran. A child understands this. Why is he deceiving people by making false statements? Well, because he has no verse from the Bible to prove the Trinity. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3. But I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is man and the head of Christ is God. Paul clearly believes that Jesus Christ is not God since God is the head of Christ. And Christians somehow taking Roman pagan beliefs and forcing them into the Bible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Christians to accept monotheism and revert back to Islam. David Wood clearly has no idea what he's talking about. You can watch this video about his friend Sam Shamon also failing to explain the Trinity. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.